Jamaica College has gotten their first three points of the quarterfinals. They have handled their business. Step forward, a team that has handled business all season long. They already have three points and another whose business includes being brave. They have one point to their name. We are ready for St. Andrew Technical against Kingston College. There's so much football left to be played here. We would have just seen Jamaica College take on Tivoli and beat them 2-1. Well, it's time for a rematch of last year's Manning Cup semi-finals between St. Andrew Technical and Kingston College. Shaquan Satchwell, Dejon Richards, they are no longer here. We look to Leon Brown and Demario Daly to provide fireworks here today. We're going upstairs to Chris and Donald for commentary. Thank you, Kimani. And yeah, there you see the result at full time on the 20th of November. Shaquan Satchwell from distance after nine minutes. What a sh strike that was. Amazing strike. One of the strikes of the season. Stats big number seven. No longer here after 25 minutes. Well, it would be 2-0 to St. Andrew Technical. Look at this for a build-up. Frankson with the finish. Oh, what a wonderful strike. The outside of the right boot into the far corner. And the St. Andrew Technical number 14 he and his team were in dreamland 2-0 after just 25 minutes kingston college the brave may fall but never yield driving forward to john richards the player of the season providing for nashoda gibbs who found the finish 2-1 at that point after 31 minutes what a match this was st andrew technical they would restore their two goal advantage atkinson with the finish after 65 minutes, it was 3-1. Right footed into the far corner, just couldn't have been kept out. And St. Andrew Technical were looking to head to yet another final. They wouldn't have it easy though. Casey pulling forward and Dijon Richards. He just couldn't have many games this season without him finding his way onto the score sheet. And he did so yet again. Not the best work between the sticks for St. Andrew Technical, but on that talented left foot to Jean Richards. After 90 minutes, it was 3-2. St. Andrew Technical getting it done. Christopher Mason blowing his whistle. A dream finish for them. Look at this for a head-to-head. -head. That 3-2 result, the latest of them. As we saw, Kingston College got the better of them. Four goals to two in the season before and had a 2-1 lead, 2-1 win three years before that in 2018 but it's been a ping pong battle over recent years between these two teams and yeah always been a close encounter Casey with a slight advantage in terms of wins St. Andrew Technical with a slight advantage in terms of this current table three points they have from their win over St. Catherine and yeah Casey sit in third position at the moment with that draw against Mona that one all draw and they just have one point at the moment, all to do. St. Andrew Technical, must be said, our favourites in this group, Donald Oliver. Now, what do you now make of this battle? As the teams make their way out to the middle, we have been waiting on this. It almost seems as if it's an annual fixture between these two teams. And you're right, it has been a ding-dong battle in the past, especially the last four years. It was a struggle for St. Andrew Technical in the previous years. But maybe, maybe they think that they have Kingston College within distance to strike, especially again this season where many expect them to go all the way. We now pause for the playing of the national anthem.
the crowd they're up to it they're up for it we've anticipated this one Mona is in this group St. Catherine as well is in this group so it was bound to be delicate and this match in particular to be looked after by Kesla Anderson who will be assisted by Kenada Hall and uh, Damian Williams with the fourth official being Omar Hines this fixture is also quite the balance let's take a look at the starting lineup of Kingston College they have the 4-3-3 formation going on for them Malik Williams between the sticks Zimnes, Siao, Brian and Patterson the back four Dejon Green, McLean and Alex Heslop was eight goals to his name part of a midfield three then Mario Daly with 14 goals he leads the line alongside Kimani Reese and Damien Smith Richard Livingston was just waiting on the Kingston College captain, Robert Siao. They are now there at the toss. The biggest news for St. Andrew Technical is that Dwayne Atkinson is out of the starting lineup and the squad with a shin injury. And they will have a 3 5 2 formation. St. Andrew Technical, Jaheem Williams between the sticks, Kemar Thompson, J. Lloyd Smith, and the outstanding Alexander Gooden, uh, the back three. Uh, Livingston, a part of a midfield five alongside Nikoi Gale, Watson, Ajatai Marshall, and Kevin Hall. Leon Brown, who has 14 goals to his name, will partner Andre Salmon with nine. Chris Taylor, this is supposed to be a cracker. It will be. Last year, Kingston College were the defending champions. Probably came in as slight favorites. St. Andrew Technical found the victory. I actually think this is the first time in a while that St. Andrew Technical come in as the favorites. Yeah. Even with those recent victories in the last four years, they would have been considered the undergut. I almost said under gods, <laughs> but the underdogs in those ones. Yeah. But I don't think that's the case now. These are the underdogs led by Basil Reynolds. And, uh, and really and truly, a lot wasn't expected from Kingston College this year. They had a, a young squad. As here they come with the first attack. Oh, what a chance that is! Almost pulled off the spectacular there, did their top scorer. Demario Daly, who has really come into his own as the competition has progressed daily. And, and so have they, Kingston College. They have been improving and it, as it has gone on. Electric strike. I just couldn't keep it down. Difficult technique. But yeah, it must be said, KC have been getting better as the competition has gone on. Not much expected, but... They're finding ways to get results. Most would have probably expected them to lose against Mona as well, fought their way back and earned a draw. By the way, so did it St. Catherine. Lovely touch out wide, and Leon Brown trying to beat his marker, couldn't do so. Picked up by McLean, or Marshall rather, and uh, they were looking for a free kick. They got the free kick. The challenge coming in on Andre Salmon. And you talk about rabid support, these two teams, they have it. And St. Andrew Technical, they have their first chance. Not so sure if it was so far away from the 18-yard box of foul, but anyhow. I'm not sure if Gooden 
minds it at all like alexander gooden really like him as a footballer so young too just what 16 years old alexander gooden and he's the one who is behind this the four-man wall has already been constructed by kingston college can they withstand the strike it didn't miss by much three goals already this season gooden all man in representative last season at 15 years of age that wasn't far away i tell you he was in trouble you know it was williams half expected him to wear the captain's armband this season to be fair yeah did wear it last year mm -hmm. ball over the top it's a chance here was he being held back an opportunity for mclean didn't go too far now it's Taylor tried to get that one and tag him it was charged down it's an electrifying start to this one patterson touched it inside green tried to send it back out wide to kimani reese who was there waiting it's going to be a, a throw in <laughs> philip williams is already on his feet great stuff since he arrived in 2017 philip williams semi-finals and better every season well here they are again and heslop feeds it out wide ball lofts inside the area daily not it further inside the box still though looking for that title st andrew technical haven't lifted it since 1987 the only time smith sent this one inside and uh, it's saved by williams yeah there are two williams in goal mm. and jaheem's goalkeeper coach ball come inside the area and uh st andrew technical's previous captain in jd in white mm -hmm. No, here's an Andrew Technical trying to walk their way through this one on his left, takes a shot, the save is made, and the Kingston College still trying to clear. What a play is Leon Brown. When he picked it up, you could hear the crowd saying, all right, walk through now, Leon. He almost did. Thompson robbed in the middle of the park Kevin Hall holds ball inside didn't reach Brown That one put into touch. There's the aforementioned J.D. White, former Senator Technical High School custodian and captain. Led them to the final, couldn't get it done. Best goalkeeper in his time in the schoolboy football arena as well, J.D. White. They're out in their numbers, Kingston College. There's another quarterfinal game going on as well. St. George's College against Heidel. It's currently nil all between those two. Both coming off victories. Heidel, of course, would have hurt St. George's College last season around this period. Yeah, that's the other two teams in the quarterfinal group with JC and Tivoli. Actually, <laughs> confused Heidel with Mona last, last season. 
But yeah, St. George's College would have been hurt around this time in the quarterfinal round. But they are, they consider themselves to be a, a much better unit this season. Start the day on top of the group. Mm -hmm. Green, fouled. Of course, a draw in that game will definitely eliminate Tivoli Gardens. Nicely done by Smith. McLean. Rare to see a winger wear, wearing the number two, but Smith is doing just that ball inside the area. Did well to collect it ahead of Daly. Oh, what a take. But he was immediately robbed. Lovely ball through. The shot is blocked. And it rushed too. And Marshall is on it. Oh, that had to be plucked out of the afternoon sky and put into touch. Well done, he was looking for Salmon. Livingston. J. Lloyd Smith across to Alexander Gooden. Looking to switch the play. What a ball that is to Livingston. To the byline. Pulls it across. It did go out into touch. Yep. Did cross the line. It's a goal kick. Love the touch of Livingston as well. Really good touch. How he brought that down. Kept the ball so close to him, Richard Livingston, the captain. Had it not been taken down well, it would have been cleared right away. Nine goals and nine assists for him this season, the captain. St. Andrew Technical, they are pressing here. Kingston College with a clearance up towards the halfway line. And can they manufacture something through Reese? Reese trying to switch the play. It's always going to be difficult. But Smith gets there. And that's about it. Yeah, that's that pretty much summed up the story. And now Gooden looking to start his own story. Leon Brown lost it. Well, that story started last season. He's writing another chapter. Gooden. He is actually. Stats and Marshall and Livingston was there a handled ball here? Maybe it was between both of them. Yeah, nothing doing. Yeah, good call. Damien Smith on it. Daly turning. The referee yeah, he's awarding not. the kick the other direction. Nice tempo to the game. Nine Pushed on by the atmosphere, Chris. Yeah. Here they are again, St. Andrew Technical. Reminds me of a Premier League game 24 hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't mind if it's of that quality. The Arnold Gardens Harbourview game was thrilling stuff last night. At the same venue. Maybe we should continue here. Maybe. Nikoi Gill sends it out wide. Hall has some time and then does little with it. Stats with a lot of the possession in recent times. This one sent out wide by Watson. 
Hall has it. Ball coming inside. There's nobody there at the back post, but it comes across to Livingston. Corner kick stats. Opportunity for Sinatra Technical here. Well, the ball is well out of the position. He takes it. Well, that certainly needs to be manned better here. Touched inside by Hall. Gale, one of the better holding midfielders in the Manning Cup. Nikoi Gale. Tried to find him again. And now, Heslop. Daly. Daly. Oh, he's going to fire from anywhere. If he sniffs the goal, he's taking a shot. Thompson was trying to play it along that channel. Watson sends it out wide. Ball comes across. Hislop. Daly has good strength. Lost it though. Nothing doing there, I felt. No, I just turned into the player, did Marshall. Leading up to that play, Casey, all 11 players in their own half. So, really being pegged back by St. Andrew Technical. Now able to come out a bit. Thompson. That touch was lousy. It was. Spanner Dennis, always among the Kingston College faithful. I think he's retired. Doesn't look like a man who knows the word. Spanner Dennis. Yeah, the boot was high there. And McLean suffered for it. didn't have a lot of support there and stats handled that competently yeah very confident in the back line St. Andrew technical Livingston nods it inside clearance made only as far as Kalonji Watson but they give up possession easily
referee calling back the play and awarding the free kick to St. Andrew Tech to Kingston College and here they are forward it's an opportunity here can he finish yes he can Casey's number 10 delivers Jaheim McLean gets his fourth goal this season and they have erupted in the stands St. Andrew Technical Court sleeping it's just the third goal they have conceded all season and maybe a bit complacent, not preparing well. McLean did though. One touch to bring it under. His mastery. The second to put it away. Well done, Kingston College. And just like that, 18 minutes down and they enjoy the lead. That they do that they do how far can this team go they're stunned credit to Casey as well just caught them napping whistle on the play took it right away before St. Andrew Technical could organize as I said, been a bit complacent. Their defensive solidity at the back has been unmatched this season. And they've found a way through. When you look at stats record, in the first round, 10 games played, 10 wins. 48 scored, 2 conceded. Former Aud Jamaica fast bowler there in the stands. Audley Sanson. Audley Sanson. Avid with support of St. Andrew Technical. And a part of the school system for years. Yeah. The coaching staff as well for a while. And yeah, 48 goals, two conceded. Then in the second round against Kingston Technical, 11 nil the aggregate, 7 nil and 4 nil wins. And then in their first match, that 2 nil victory in the quarter final round. This is the first they have trailed. How will they respond? They have the quality. That they do. Of course, I mentioned before that they are missing Atkinson due to a, a shin injury. Seven goal quality missing. Mm. Here they are coming forward. An opportunity, almost beckoning. Yeah, the referee was in the way there, I think. Download the Sportsmax app today on the Google Play, from the Google Play or the App Store. Reese. Daly committed the foul there, trying to show his innocence after the fact. J. Lord Smith was taken out. Yeah. Casey, they played 10 games as well in the first round. They won nine and drew one. They got a reprieve after going down 4 0 in their first match of the season to High Dell. Only for them to be awarded the points and so on. And that totally turned around their season. I think a lot Almost of people would have momentum watched. Momentum does change for it, them. A lot of people would have washed their hands of Kingston College after that yeah. result or after hearing the result. When they were awarded those points, they've just never looked back since then. As I said, nine wins and a draw, 35 goals they scored and conceded three. Then we were made to work against Campion College in the second round. Well, that was cleared properly. An opportunity blocked. Well, he had to take it. Richard Livingston with a shot from just outside the area. And this time with the right foot. Mm-hmm. St. Andrew Technical, they have so much confidence. I don't think them going behind would bother them. Although it's the first this season.
Daly. Smith tried to find Daly, but that wasn't the run he was making. Ball placed inside and trying to beat his marker, but couldn't. Marshall and Smith now have it, now has it for Kingston College. Kimani Reese. Daly gets it back, going through one defender, and the shot was blocked by Gooden. I think that was going goalwards. Kingston College, they know how crucial a second goal would be here. The whistle goes, the flag went up. Yeah, Casey growing in confidence. I said that game against Campion trailed 2 0 after the first half, came back to win that first leg 3 2. Then won the second leg 4 1. Campion actually couldn't get into that second leg at all. And then the one-all draw with Mona in the first match of the quarterfinal round in which they trailed yet again. This time they have the lead and they are looking good, Casey. And here they are again with Smith. Lovely touch to Heslop. Heslop trying to turn that one inside, but he was hounded all the time. Jamaica College student last season, Alex Heslop. He's come across to KC, doing well in the starting lineup. Influential player. Here's KC again. Daily inside the area, again utilizing his strength. Loves the spectacular, doesn't he? They're love number nine. Love how he plays, though, Daily. Mm -hmm. Very energetic. Does link up well. Doesn't mind playing as a lone striker as well, Demario Daly. Finds his teammates, understands the width of the park. No surprise that he's had so much success this season, 14 goals. But he brings his teammates into the equation as well. Challenge coming in was a clean one, even though it was tough. Smith, hopeful ball over the top. It worked out almost for his lap. Ball coming inside the area. And Casey, they do have numbers back. And turns it back. Brown sends it out wide. Hall is on it. They get the corner kick. Kornicki coming up. A lot of the ball boys around here really eating up a lot of the the time in getting play restarted as quickly as possible. And of course, that wouldn't be helping stats scores at all. Corner kick wasn't the best at all. Stuffed the earth before he made contact with the ball, I think. Gale does well to win it back. They'll try again. Flag is up for offside. Easy call, actually.
McLean, a little bit too lackadaisical and lost it. Mm. The ball out wide to Reese. Reese. Daly. Back to Reese. Sats again in the attacking third here. Ball sent out wide by Marshall. Holds the livery inside. Someone sends it back out wide. Ball again. Someone tried to get on the end of that one. Booted into touch for a throw into Sedanja Technical. O'Neill Bryan in the way of that one. Good clearance. Players lurking for St. Andrew Technical. Some pretty good touches inside there. Prone, Marshall and company. Can't afford to give them any space. It was an awkward throw. <laughs> it, it, it did look awkward. That's much better from Hall. Here he is. Can he provide a good delivery here? Lovely stuff. Turned in the traffic, though. Did Andre Salmon. Here's a shot from way out. No issues there for Malik Williams. Reese. Nice turn from Daly. Sends it out wide, looking for Smith. Sold him short a little, I felt. Yeah, a little short. Good idea from the Love how he just turned away from the defender. Gale goes long. Again, O'Neill Bryan was strong in defense for Kingston College. Reese. Love the stuff by McLean to find Reese again, who tries to utilize his strength, but was no match. For Marshall. Livingston sends it across. Leon Brown goes wide to collect. Sends it back to Hall. Watson. McLean suffering from a bit of cramp, it seems. Ball served inside first time. Ambitious from Marshall. Mm, had a pocket of space there. And considering he's had about three or four situations before where he's opted to take a touch, I was a bit surprised he didn't do that again because he actually had more space than the norm. Taking their time, those stats. I guess when you've scored already 60 odd goals in this season, you wouldn't be worried about one. That's a theory. Mm. Thompson. Hall. And uh, couldn't find Watson. 
not quite clicking for St. Andrew Technical in the aftermath of them going behind to Kingston College. Kemar Thompson on it. Livingston. That's not a bad pa pass. Kings and College were defending deep just now, but Stats couldn't capitalize. Livingston has ventured over to that right hand side. Watson sends it out wide. Hall delivers inside. Easy clearance by Kingston College. And Smith. Daly does well. Smith is free. Find Smith. Hislop is inside the area. Smith going to the byline and uh, well, looks as if he just got rid of it. He's a wonderful player though, isn't he, Daly? Look at how they can pick him out. Always find space, Demario Daly. And because his first movement is, is so quick, he gets away from the defenders. And never rushed in terms of passing. Oh. Yeah, Smith is going to need some attention. Mm. Not sure what happened in the aftermath of him sending that ball way past the goal. Got a nudge. He was going over. Wonderful work is what Pastor Reynolds has been doing with these purples. Not much expected from him this season, but his team is going from strength to strength. And that man up front is more than a handful. Demario Daly. If you think about Pastor Reynolds titles at the schoolboy level of recent, neither of them were he expected to win. Was he expected to win? When he went to Rossi's, not much was expected of Rossi's that season. That was coming off of a Cornwall College title. And well, he did it. Went from strength to strength with that team. And a remarkable victory it was for Rossi's, their last in the Costa Cup. When he won the Champions Cup with Wilmers, not many expected him to do so either. But it was a team built on yeah. strong defense. Yeah. Giovanni Hines. Hines, their captain, under at the 20. back. Big fellow. Yeah, big fellow, under 20. Jamaica captain as well. Uh huh. But yeah, we understood, although they weren't favorites as they grew into the season, they would have been admired. No, certainly. Well, a lot of persons know renewed respect for Kingston College some per some persons even said it would have been tough for them to come out of their group they ended up winning the group comfortably in the end champion put up a stern test and people said well yeah here it is against a talented champion bunch well they overturned that ball sent out wide Hall is on it to the byline that's a good block. That's a really good block. Yeah. Robert Siao, it seems. And not meant to mention that match against high flying Mona, who been scoring goals all over a half century of goals already. And coming away with a point KC. So and now the lead here against arguably the, the favorites this season.
of course, Donald Oliver with Mona drawing today as well. That's confirmed. One all against St. Catherine. Two points from two matches. Free kick high inside the area. A couple of KC defenders were at it. Livingston. Oh, that's lovely. Half a block. See how again. Oh, my goodness. He's a wall. I think that's about three blocks for him. Yep, deliberately putting a leg out. Anticipating well. It was a right leg he put out, so I wonder if the landing was awkward for him. But yeah, Mona now, two points from two matches. St. Catherine, one point from two matches. St. Andrew Technical with the only win so far in the group. Yeah, and they're training now. Hall. This one is sent out wide to Livingston on his left foot. Livingston. Oh. oh no. Williams wasn't certain with the handling there. Well he covered his near post. And that was the important thing. No opportunity, no chance for that to sneak in. But should have gathered cleanly. He was going wide anyhow. Ball coming inside the area and the header is wide of the mark. Came in through the middle. Yeah. J. Lloyd Smith. Three goals already this season, Smith. Hungry for more. That's the first time Daly has rushed a pass like that, anticipating an overlapping run, and it wasn't there. Based on how it stands, based on the results earlier, if KC, or rather if Stats win, wins this game, they are, they, are, they are through to the final four. Livingston back on the left. And if the scoreline stays the same, Stats will still be on top of the group at the end of this match. On goal difference. If the scoreline remains... If the scoreline remains the same, yes. Actually, it would be the same, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be the same. Yes, it would, Yeah, actually. They currently have a two-goal difference, but... With this lead, it would be two goals scored, one against, just like KC. Livingston inside. And shot. <laughs> the crowd was asking for a handled ball. It, there were no, it was nowhere near the hands. They believe KC, even if they didn't at the start of the season, Tough bunch. Hall. Thompson. Livingston. Almost went through. Lloyd Smith just couldn't gather on that occasion. Hmm. 
Ooh, he looks to be in some pain there. Shoulder. Yeah. I've suffered from a dislocated shoulder, I can tell you. Most painful injury I've had. When it's out. And as soon as it goes back in, the world is good again. I just wonder if when he made the clearance, if he overextended. So I wonder if it's a repeat injury. Well, I feel for him. The clash of the sevens. Rice, or Reese rather, illegally trying to get the ball from Livingston. Smith under pressure from Brown on that occasion. Gooden does like switching the play. Starts there winning back. with it again couldn't from distance well that almost brought the house down where did he get that one from the bar is still shaking after that one and Williams can't believe that didn't cross the line Look at this missile Ooh. on the line. On the line. You saw the puff of dust. Let's take a look at it again. Yeah. Majority over the line, but not all. So, no goal. Here's a free kick coming inside the area. Put well, in the touch by Zimenez. That was some strike from Gooden. Some strike. Some strike. Yeah. Good to see the puff of dust because that's a confirmation that it did actually catch a bit of the line. You could tell when it hit the crossbar that it went towards the, the net, but yeah, not enough. Well, that, that would have been the goal of the season had it gone in. For sure. Four minutes of stoppages to be played, by the way. In case you missed it, we certainly did. By the way, a mistake earlier. If Casey were to win this one, they would go top of the zone. Their first match was a draw. So they would actually go to four points. St. Andrew Technical would remain on three. I think we forgot about the draw and it wasn't a loss. Mona would have two, and St. Catherine one. That would be the order. Well, that clearance almost took out our videographer, <laughs> which would have, have been a, a small win for a few of us. Oh, Milton Hutchinson is always safe in the hands of Sportsmax. Let's take a look at it again. Almost goal of the season. Yeah. Just look here when it lands. Yeah. Yeah, the puff, the white yeah. dust, you, you see clearly. On the line. 
the back edge of the line though I didn't know he had it in him Alexander mm -hmm. Gooden the 16 year old can kick St. Andrew Technical wouldn't want to be heading into the interval now because of this momentum. Having said that, they have about a minute to get level before the half comes to an end. Watson. Thompson. Kingston College should be able to see this out. No, Gooden has it. He might think of another shot. No, it's across this time. That's heading to touch. And. Uh, we're close to the end here. The end of the first half, that is. Maybe one more attack. And they do get the attack. Put behind for a corner kick by Brian again. Was there a bit of an injury during stoppage time? Trying to recall if there was. Hole to deliver. Here it comes again. That's the end of the first half. Casey were on the ropes at the end of it, but they they hold on they hold on to their advantage after 45 minutes Jaheim McLean the difference maker between these two sides stats they've had their moments but they just haven't been able to convert and it's going to be interesting to see how they get out for the second half At half time, Kingston College won, St. Andrew Technical nil. Real Sociedad go up against Benfica Wednesday 12.45 p.m. 1.45 p.m. ECT on Sports Max 2. Also on Sports Max 2, Arsenal against Sevilla at 3 o'clock 4 ECT. As far as Europa League is concerned on Sports Max 2, to lose against Liverpool 12.45 p.m. 1.45 in the Eastern Caribbean. And on Sports Max, Ajax against Brighton Hove and Albion that uh, should be a really good one at 12.45 p.m. 1.45 ECT that's gonna, on, gonna be on Sports Max on Sports Max 2 Europa League West Ham against Olympiacos 3 p.m. 4 p.m. ECT and on Sports Max Rangers against Sparta Prague uh, Thursday 3 p.m. 4 p.m. in the Eastern Caribbean 1-0 in favor of Kingston College over St. Andrew Technical here at the National Stadium East Field. And the difference maker, Casey's number 10, Jaheem McLean.
Second half is about to get on the way. Sinanja Technical will be kicking towards the Caribbean Sea. Kingston College, of course, in their purple outfit will be kicking towards the Blue Mountain Range. And we're seconds away from the start here. Sinanja Technical with a win. We'll go through to the semi-finals of the Manning Cup again. We're on the way here. Not the start that Stats would have been hoping for. A little bit lackadaisical there. Well, not the start for both teams. throw taken Leon Brown on it Kevin Hall sends it long but no stats player attacking it and in the end Malik Williams collects so easily bounced a couple times in the area and stats not quite showing the push and here they've lost it but the flag indicating a foul by Daly. Senator Technical, I'm sure they were thinking that the half ended at the wrong time for them because momentum was going in their favor. Agreed. They were out early from the half as well. Preparing. Getting warm. They need to be on the front foot right away. Hall trying to be on the front foot. Throw into stats. It's just a matter of time before this game explodes again, I think. That clearance didn't go too far. But they may manufacture something here with Daly. J. Lloyd Smith coming across there. Patterson with the throw. Oh, they've lost it in a dangerous spot here. And stats can they capitalize? That was a massive chance for Andre Salmon to get his 10th goal this season. But he could not hit the target. What did he just do, Andre Salmon? Went for power. Why? Done all the hard work. Just needed to place it. Malik Williams had already committed himself, was really in no man's land. And just needed to bend it around Malik Williams to the left hand side of him. Wow. In for crazy power and missed comfortably. What a chance. Sat tried to get out with it. Now it's with Brown. First touch. Wanted to do a little bit more with that. More under his control. That was the plan. Andre Salmon was the man who scored in the final last year. Game went to penalties. That one star score was him. He scored eight on the season, Andre Salmon. Needed to 
brings that level there. Reese on it. Swung it across to Smith. Smith, first touch is excellent. Smith, second touch. Forced wide, goes to the turf, loses out, should be a goal kick. And it is. Stats through Brown. Corner kick awarded. Stats crowd pushing them from the stands. They want a goal. They want an equalizer here. Livingston, his ball inside, held on to by Malik Williams. Well, they took it down to the wire, didn't they? sent over to the far side and Patterson had to put that one into touch good good and stabs it forward Livingston goes goalwards Williams had his eyes on it. <laughs> Daly couldn't get there. That went through somehow. Livingston. This one is tucked around the corner for Brown. Brown, skillful, drives it across. Patterson again with the clearance. Here they come again. J. Lloyd Smith. Cool under pressure. Livingston again. Ran into a defender, McLean, who was defending in his own right. Now it's with Smith. Oh, just away from Hisla. Livingston, oh, not the touch we expected from Richard Livingston. Here they come against an Andrew Technical. Marshall gets the return. Just evaded him.
Watson. Livingston inside. And now here's Brown. Out wide to Hole. Hole sends in at the back post. There's nobody there for stats. Enough done by the Kingston College defense. But another stats wave coming up. They have a free kick. They move quickly, too quickly for the referee. And they were wondering why the same grace wasn't given to them, as was the case for the Kingston College goal in the first half, where they took a free kick quickly and caught the stats defense off guard. Yeah, not sure either. Did the right thing, put the ball down, and then passed it. It wasn't moving. Ball swung inside again. That chest trap took it too far. Mm -hmm. J. Lloyd Smith with it. Sends it out wide. Kevin Hall on it. Has the option of going to the byline. And didn't have the strength. Well defended by Casey. Siao again. St. Andrew Technical have had one really good chance so far in this half. It's fallen to Salmon. Andre Salmon just couldn't get the job done, and it was a really good chance. Did say Salmon scored in the final. It was actually Shaquan Satrell who scored in the final against JC. But he did score against JC in the Champions Cup semi-final, which went to penalties as well. It's Salmon. Kingston College nice burst of speed there but that's some really good defending clearance eventually made Kingston College winning that 50-50 battle Green doing well. Zubinese with a throw. Another set piece coming up. Corner kick for Kingston College. Smith. Stats never have it. They never do have it easy even when they are considered favorites. Again, they seek to come from behind. Hole. Brown. 
deflected and it's gone behind flag is up for offside at any rate Gale. Oh, did well to move away from his defender. But Casey now, Smith, trying to go long. Those out balls haven't been accurate for KC as they tried to break. It's a bit sloppy all round. Long ball out wide. Livingston kept it in well. Livingston's ball inside the area. It comes as far as Hall. Corner kick. Nice cross field pass and good delivery from the captain. Not sure about the captain's body language generally in this second half, though. Looks low on energy and his body language is not what you'd want to see from a leader. This at this point starts trailing obviously yes the first it has happened this season but he needs to be the one to lift the team he will take the corner though let's see if he can provide some inspiration here livingston not clear properly <laughs> what's that dealing with the clearance casey can they break? Ball over the top, looking for Smith. Wooden is there. Yep. Smith was pleading his innocence. Vassar Reynolds begging them to go forward and not give the uh, stats team the entire half to play as we see the the challenge that came in on Gooden from Smith Livingston oh takes that down really well lovely stuff trying to play that one across Marshall should have done it first time Marshall Made the angle worse for him, but yeah, lovely touch by Livingston. He has a touch. We just want to see the energy. Marshall's ball inside. That's a good looking ball, you know. Kept alive still. Lovely stuff from. Oh, we are cut down on the edge of the box. Free kick for stats. They are desperate for a breakthrough here inside the National Stadium East Field. Very close to the 18-yard line, won't be easy. Difficult skill. That was a difficult pass as well, but he did well, didn't he? Yeah. To get this up and down, though, Watson, the man brought down. Kalunji's first name, well, I don't have to tell you who his parents were a fan of. The detective sidekick? <laughs> Maybe. And he's taking it off. Kalonji Watson replaced by Terrain Hall. Maybe a little bit more energy. They have to get this up, over, and back down. Salmon is having issues. 
from. Maybe suffering from a little bit of cram there, Salmon. Gooden again. From the edge of the box. Is it too close for him? Is it just right? It's on the edge of the box. Inside the D. Centrally, the wall has been constructed by Kingston College. There are five players in it. Leon Brown is also there for company as Williams setting up the position of his wall meticulously here. Brown has stepped aside. That's a big wall. Gooden. Wow, deflected, and it goes behind. There was power in that one. There was real power in that one. Just the edge of the, the wall. Well, the wall did its job. You said it was a big one. Yeah, that one extra body <laughs> did enough. And they are looking to make a change in Andrew Technical. But they have to go with the corner kick. No. Change has been made. Yep. Salmon is off. Frankson is on. Ball coming in. The keeper cried for it and got it. By the way, in the other quarterfinals, St. George's and Heidel still locked at nil all. The confirmation of Salmon going out for Franson. Casey making a change now, Domain Smith. He's been taken off. Kajay Fletcher is going to replace him. Here are stats. Again, trying to do something in the attacking third. That match with Georges and Heidel going on at Jamaica College at the Asher 9 Stadium. Was it kept in play by Fletcher? No. Kevin Hall on it. Marshall could quite get there. Daily holding it up.
we are getting confirmation that Heidel, they have taken the lead over St. George's College at the Ashenheim Stadium. 1-0 the score. Big lead up for Heidel. Ball swinging inside. It's now at the back post, first time! Williams with the save! There was time and space inside the box for the boy who came on, Terrain Hall. Livingston now. Of course, Donald, that would mean if it remains the same, Heidel, two wins from two, and they would be safe, wouldn't they? Download the Sportsman's app today from the Google Play or the App Store. Keep in touch with all the happenings on the home of champions. JC with are on three, and St. George's are on three. So that would mean Heidel are through if that scoreline remains the same. And all to play for between St. George's and JC in the last match of the round. This was a strike, some strike it was. Good save, Malik Williams. Mm, yeah, oh, yeah. Really good save. that would be that we're talking about hmm. the battle of the colleges two of the oldest institutions two of the, the two most successful schools at the Manning Cup level <laughs> 53 titles between them yeah Eight corner kicks to St. Andrew Technical. Here's the delivery. Williams punches it, but not quite away. Delivered again by Will <laughs> by Livingston, and finally it's cleared. Nicely done. Marshall going forward, and now it's with Livingston. Gale touches it out wide to hold. Kevin Hall lost it, but his teammate Gooden will recover. Daly looking for runners. May just barrel through himself. Referee says play on. Kingston College can finish it here. Oh, he's made a wonderful stop. Shaheem Williams denying Kajay Fletcher. That was a real chance for Casey there. Gooden is down. Didn't make the best connection, though. And brought Jaheim Williams into the picture to make a telling save. And first shot of the second half for Kingston College. Yeah, not the cleanest strike. Salmon, he was the one executing the bounce, but exactly. he's injured himself. Sorry, Gooden. Not too serious. I think he was just trying to bail himself out of a situation there. But luckily for him and his team, the opportunity wasn't taken. Stats have played 13 games this season. They have scored in every game they have played in.
two changes. Jamal Bygrave comes on for Kevin Hall. Oh, one change. Yeah, good returning from the injury. Higher percentages, per percentage passes is what Philip Williams needs. They can't afford to turn it over. Time running now. Just 15 to go now. Referee says play on. And stats will play on. Not too far though. Well, Daly appears to be a character. <laughs> Referee wasn't giving Green any attention, and look at how he's running now. Nothing wrong with <laughs> Sean Green. Zimenez. Reese was trying to send that one inside and giving it away and Duan Green applying the challenge again. Marshall inside and Franson goes outside and that's a lovely ball inside, you know. Slip through, Flax stays down. Ambitious effort from Livingston was charged down. He may have taken it with his right foot. He has the quality. Gooden has to really settle here. Franson again. Not the most convincing clearance. Was that inside the box? Well, it goes behind eventually for a goal kick. Wow. Stats thought it was a corner. Quite a few players down now. Daly. This is the opportunity. Skew there. Okay. Good call from the officials. And to be fair, he kept his balance. Yeah, good call. Terrain Hall. But it was also a goal kick. Not really. I, I don't think there was much talk. It was only the fans <laughs> thinking of a penalty. There's nothing there. But in terms of whether goal kick or corner, they certainly got it right. Green keeping it and then losing it. Approaching challenges coming in now. <laughs> As I said, a character. That could be an offense in some some books, you know. Daly has it. That was wasted though from Daly. Has had to be playing a lot deeper in this second half. 
Casey have conceded in every game since the first round. So far, they are holding out St. Andrew Technical. Concentration key. Gooden has it now. Ten minutes to go, plus time added for stoppages. They won't allow him to shoot again. Frankson. Good defending. Skips by one challenge. Fletcher. He's speedy. Throw in favor of Kingston College. Yellow card shown to J. Lloyd Smith. For a defender, that's a wasted yellow card. Frustration. Indeed. I actually think he might have had a case. Still time for St. Andrew Technical. They just haven't looked likely in the second half, though. They look like they've run out of ideas. More desperation attempts. Smith to Gooden. Gooden out wide. Frankson. Flag stays down. Corner kick to Sinatra Technical. Setting this one inside, it's headed away. Hall battling it. Battling with Reese. An opportunity here for stats. Lofted inside and too much on it. Really wasted there. Glorious opportunity to even take a strike on goal. And that pass was ambitious to say the least. Is he making another change? The Mario Daly comes out. Well, they're going to pause the change. Vass Reynolds has changed his mind. Wrong number. <laughs> I think that's the problem. He wants to bring on that player, but not for Daly. I can understand why. Daly has been a beast for KC today. Frankson. Not many players attacking the area for Sidanja Technical. Gale. Hall. Just skirting around the area, Sidanja Technical. Gooden from distance again. <laughs> Williams. 
Really had to hold on at the second attempt. Really good technique from Gooden yet again. And Xavier Gooden really can strike them. McLean, who's now going to be taken out? Yep. Jaheem McLean. The goal scorer. Which they put in from McLean, hobbling a bit as well. Holloway comes on. Here's Gooden again. Franson's ball is not a bad one, headed away. Tried to force that one through. Thompson. Who's your player of the match, Chris Taylor? I know it's a difficult one. As it stands now, it's between both Xiao and Daly. Okay, see. This is the Sportsmax app moment, and it was an absolute firecracker from distance. Alexander Gooden really let fly there and uh, bounce him off the crossbar on the line. And that's the Sportsmax moment of the game. Alex Xavier Gooden with the effort from distance. coming in in get to that shortly yeah we can get to it now time added on St. George's have found an equalizer against Heidel Matthew Spence the scorer it's one all <laughs> wow that group mm, all groups you will see tomorrow Lovely ball played to the edge of the box. That should have been a better ball. It's a poor pass. Yeah. It's been one of those days. By Grave, just not good enough with a pass on that occasion. Stats a few minutes away from their first defeat of the season. It's the first they have trailed. It would be the first match that they haven't scored in as well. We're hearing six minutes of stoppages to be played. Well, no. Mm. 
Nope, scrap that message. Okay, confirming that message. Six minutes of stuff just to be played. Stats with an opportunity here. Green is behind it. They have sent seven players on the edge of the area here. Green's ball inside is a good one, you know. It's headed behind for a corner kick. It's Siao again in the thick of things. Real captain's performance. O'Neill Bryan has been brilliant as well, by the way. Yeah. To keep out this St. Andrew technical team so far, it's been a stellar performance from the KC back line. And in this second half, they have denied chances as well. It's not as if St. Andrew Technical have been wasteful. Someone with the best of them, the chances. Another corner kick. Green delivering. Wasted. Stats still coming forward, but not with any clarity. Well, I'm surprised that wasn't a foul. <laughs> Foot in the head here of, of, McKe of Marshall. Full time between St. George's and Heidel, one all, the final score. That puts Heidel up to four points. So to St. George's. Yep, not quite qualifying. Yeah, JC on three. And yeah, that means that Tivoli Gardens are out. With just one round of matches to go, and they are yet to get off the mark. I don't play Tivoli Gardens, Jamaica College. They face off with St. George's College. Georges need a draw. Here's Frankson. JC a win. Reese has been doing a lot of defensive work in the second half. through the lines here. Frankson has it. Skips by Zimines. Went by another. They're lining up now, Stats. Another wonderful block. Kingston College player is down. Knocked over the top. The whistle goes. He needs medical attention. Kingston College holding on. The stretch has been summoned.
Green has put in a shift. Casey down to 10 players for the moment. Stats will send this one long. Again, stubborn defending. Nice touch away. Daly. Daly goes down. Stats coming away with it. Gale did well. Oh. They need to send it long again. Sidanja technical. Oh, poor touch. It's long. Daly. Daly goes himself off the post. That could have sealed the match for Kingston College. Daly knew he was oh so close. He's been brilliant today, Demaria Daly. Excellent performance from the KC number nine. And for a lot of the time, he's playing as a lone man up there. Green back on the field. And stats, last chance saloon. Swung over to the left-hand side. Still an opportunity here, and what has happened? Anticlimactic, it has ended. For St. Andrew Technical, going down to Kingston College in the end, who held on in that second half. It's a big scalp for the team, not favored by many at the start of the season, but with their pedigree, it comes as little surprise Kingston College downing St. Andrew Technical again. It's a big win. They go top of the group in this quarterfinal round stage. A goal, the difference in the end. And who knows, they may be, they may be meeting again at a later date in this Manning Cup competition. 1-0, the final score, Kingston College over St. Andrew Technical. Kessler Anderson, the man with the whistle. Kingston College, the team with a victory. Daly, their number nine. He was excellent for the full 90 minutes. This an acrobatic attempt wide. Stats. Yeah, Alex Xavier Gooden don't allow him to shoot from distance. He's dangerous. This a clinical finish from Jaheim McLean. Casey catching out the defense line of St. Andrew Technical, who were reactive instead of proactive. They paid the price. McLean with his fourth of the season. Casey 1 0 up after 18 minutes. Stats continue to come forward there. Captain Livingston with a strike. Should have been easily held from Malik Williams. Gave up a corner. The attempt wide from J. Lloyd Smith. And then that strike from Alex Xavier Gooden. I spoke about those shots from distance. Look at that. Phenomenal strike. Bouncing right on the line, as you can see. Excellent decision from the officials. And yeah to the second half now this was the best chance for stats in that second half andre salmon couldn't get it done and stats close but not close enough balls into the area this was a strike this was a lovely save from malik williams with his left hand first time strike and he was equal to the task casey with some sound defending generally limiting the opportunities of St. Andrew Technical. This, the only shot of the second half on target for Casey. And it was saved by Jaheim Williams in the end. 
Then this strike again from Gooden from some way out. It took two attempts for Malik Williams to hold on. What a victory this is for the 16-time champions. This from Demaria Daly, inches away, the outside of the upright. That would have further sealed the deal, but he didn't need it. 1-0 KC. So yeah, six on target from 11 attempts for the 16-time champions. The 1987 champions just couldn't get it done today. The first time this season they have failed to score. Five shots on target from 13 attempts. Wow. 12 fouls. No cards shown. Two offsides for St. Andrew Technical. They enjoyed 10 corners compared to one for KC. But unfortunately, it was, yeah, not good enough. They enjoyed majority of the possession at 65%, but they turn, they end up at, on the losing end of the stick. After 90 minutes, KC won, St. Andrew Technical nil. Let's hear from our man of the match who is with Kimani. It's the captain, Siao. Thank you, Chris. I'm joined by junior brand manager for Digicel, Kadeen Webley. She's presenting the man of the match award to Kingston College skipper, Robert Siao. Robert? You led your team to a very valiant victory here today. How proud are you of that performance? Um, coming into the game, um, we were, to tell the truth, we were, we were, we were not the favourites, but um, just try to motivate the, the boys. Um, we camped, so I just kind of tried to rally the troops together, and we, just, we did just have to get the three points. Yeah, you said you weren't favourites coming into this one. Is this some sort of message to the rest of the competition that Kingston College is still here? Um, yes, we've been here from the few past years, many years now. Um, we have a, a big name and we've, we've been winning titles, so it's not anything new. So just thankful for the three points. Right, congrats, Robert. All the best. All right, thank you. Yeah, that was Kingston College skipper Robert Seau there, our digital man of the match. We're joined now by Coach Philip Williams. Coach, first taste of defeat for your boys. And sum up the performance for me. I mean, um, I think it was a good performance from us today. I think we turned off um, one time and we, we, we got punished for that one time. But um, apart from that, I think um, the guys displayed some good football tonight. Well, you still have three points in the group. Um, how minor a setback is this in your head? It's, it's, a, it's a big setback. I mean, um, it just made the last game a little tougher, um, which we embrace. I mean, um, we know the quality of the Mona team and we just have to go there and, and do what we have to do. All right, thank you, Coach. All the best. Yeah, man, you're welcome. Uh, that was Coach Philip Williams, joined now by the man draped in purple, Coach Vassal Reynolds. Coach, you got a three points against an unbeaten St. Andrew Technical High School team. How proud are you of that performance? Very, 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 very proud. You know, my assistant coach told me that over the years, when both teams meet, Casey has always been the favorite and lose. Stats was the favorite today and last. So, I mean, tough game. Uh, we knew it was going to come down to the last 20 minutes and we rely on fitness. Um, I think we are, we are fitter than we thought, um, but good game. It's, 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 it's a very deserving three points and I'm proud of the team. Yeah, coach, I saw you after the game run over to the Kingston College side and you were having an embrace with the fans. What does it mean to deliver a win here for them? It's the Kingston College spirit. I mean, we do this for, for the Kingston College community. Um, they demand a high standard from us. Um, we deliver delivering so far. But again, kudos to the boys. They have been working very, very hard. Um, we thought that the matches are coming very close, so we have to be doing a lot of recovery work. And so it was a masterful performance from them today. And finally, speak about that defensive performance. You know, Stats was really pushing for that goal in the, at the end of the game. How important was your defence today? Um, we wanted to stay very compact. We did that. Apply pressure when the ball comes into dangerous areas. Um, albeit we were a little bit slow and lethargic sometimes, but I mean, the legs were going. But um, I think we did that and held up for the last 15 minutes very well. Uh, thank you, coach. All the best. Yeah, man. Thanks. It sets up big time, right? Look at these results. Uh, the quarterfinal round the stage. JC 2 1 over Tivoli Gardens. Jamaica College with a win there. KC Kingston College 1 0 over Stats over at the Ashenheim Stadium, Mona High and St. Catherine High battling out a 1-1 draw. So do St. George's College and High Dell High. So let's take a look at the, the groups here because in group one it's tight. Kingston College on four points, stats on three. 
Mona on two, St. Catherine High on one. And in the next group, in group two, St. George's College on four, Heidel on four, Jamaica College on three, Tivoli Gardens out of contention, they haven't registered a point. Tomorrow, we're in Clarendon, Glenmuir High against Manchester High, 2.30 p.m., 3.30 p.m. in the Eastern Caribbean. You can watch that free on the Sportsmax app, on Sportsmax Plus, as well as on Scene TV for those of you in the, in the diaspora. And on Friday, it's do or die here. St. Andrew Technical against Mona High, 2.30 p.m. Jamaica time, 3.30 p.m. in the Eastern Caribbean. You can watch that match on Sportsmax 2. But what a pleasure this has been. Really a pleasure. Kingston College with a win over St. Andrew Technical. Many people considering Stats to be the favorites for this season. And it's a big setback according to Stats' very own uh, coach, Philip Williams. Stats, well, they have a lot to think about. Kingston College, they are rejoicing tonight. But it's still not quite over. On behalf of the hardworking production team, my color analyst, uh, Chris Taylor, my uh, uh, roving reporter, Kimani O'Sullivan, uh, director, Michael Edwards, and before him, Daniel Allen, and of course, my producer, Phil O'Reilly, and the hardworking production team here. It's goodbye from the National Stadium Eastfield. Yo, Issa. My schoolboy football look this season. People am ready, you know. All right then, he go, man in go. Oliver Yashil, you make me link up. See what the champions cup, Ben Francis, Baga Cup, which team are win the championship this season. Yo, it's a Boba Diva School, I go finish the league and beat now. Which you that go collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people. Yo, it's a busy fans are roll out all boat, be a flag for a vehicle. Looking at the crowd, bus load of supporters from school and community too. People, nothing at the stand, some are the superior, they must have a bunch of TV too. Country and turn your night for one reason. It's a.